Hello guys and welcome again to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a clipping mask in Photoshop. You can see my examples here. I created a very simple word. I just type beach and flowers. I use two reference images uh, to create this type of uh, look and I'm going to show you exactly how we can get this done. But before we get started, I just want to show you where I get uh, my image resource. Okay, so basically I use Pixel. Pixel is one of the best free stock photos, royalty free images and video that are basically shared by creators like yourself. So take a look at them, give them credit, uh, especially for the images that you use as well. I'm gonna give credit to a couple of people that I'm using their images like Vurai Yavas. And I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but thank you for your image. And as well as Polk Rai, that also I'm going to be using their image for this tutorial. All right. So I'm going to tell you just a little bit about what exactly a clipping mask is. So clipping mask is uh, in Photoshop is a way to control the vis visibility of a layer. The layer on the bottom controls the visibility of the layer above. So if you take a look at this, I have two layers. Example here, I have my image, and there I have the word beach at the bottom. It's just a text. You're going to notice I have this little icon that is highlighted here or circle. Just so you guys keep in mind and understand what that is, that just gives you um, within Photoshop the icon that you're going to be creating a clipping mask within those two layers. Now. Let's get started and that way you can get a feel on how you can actually make this effect work for you, okay? So I have already typed the word beach on my artboard and I already have my image beach as well. So I'm just gonna, you, you're gonna notice that the word beach is, I mean, the, the, te the image is on the top, the word is at the bottom. So this is my reference. This is what I want to make sure that I only see within my image. So what I'm going to write, I'm going to right click on the beach image and I'm going to go to create clipping mask. Again, if that was too quick, here we go. I can right click, create clipping mask. Now, there's another way to do it as well. And the way you do it is if you hold the alt key on a PC option on the Mac, um, I'm going to put my cursor or my mouse right in between both of those layers. And you're going to notice the little icon that I mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial. I can just click on it and it creates that. Now, one of the cool things about this is I can grab my reference layer and basically I can move it around. I can choose a different place of my image. So kind of, I kind of like this. I kind of like that flag popping up right there in the sun coming this way as well. And then the cool thing about this is that you can change the text. You can put like sun or whatever you want to do. And basically automatically we update and you can just move this around and uh, make it the way that you want. So let's do this one more time. I'm going to use the word flower. I have rotated the word flower and basically I am have the image flower in there. And the same thing, right click create clipping mask and there it is. I can move my flower around, the word flower around. I can go to edit free transform and I can rotate it as well and I can place it wherever I need to. I can rotate this way, I can scale it down. I can put it wherever I want as well. So other things that you can do with the clipping mask is you can bring custom shapes. You can bring custom shapes from Illustrator. You can create your own custom shapes using the pen tool. But also um, you can create uh, custom shapes using uh, the custom shape tool here within Photoshop. So let's see how that works. I'm going to duplicate this layer, my flower layer. So I'm going to right click, duplicate layer. Um, if you notice, uh, it's going to keep my clipping mask within the same selection. So I'm going to right click and disable it. So I'm going to release the clipping mask. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this um, custom shape tool. 
And if you go here in the top, it doesn't matter the color that you use. Um, you're going to see here there's a bunch of libraries that you can actually pick. Let's pick this wild animal here so you guys can see that there's a bunch of different wild animals. I'm going to grab this um, little guy here, ch chimpanzee, and I'm going to hold my shift key, and I'm just going to make this guy something like that. Now, make sure when you make a shape, make, make sure you come here into the shape, not path, and you have a fill so you can actually see what you're trying to use. So I have this ape that he created. And what I can do, make sure that your reference is underneath the image. Right click on the image and create clipping mask. And I can grab that ape and I can put it wherever I want as well. Okay. Now, one of the cool things is basically I can have a layer here, the ape layer. And if I hold my shift key, holding my shift key, see, it gives me a little plus sign. What I can do is I can actually create a second ape and a third ape within the same layer and allows me to create multiple shapes like that. And now I have something even cooler with that. And the same thing, I can always move these little guys around. I can rotate them or I can just undo and do whatever I need to do to get rid of that. So that's how simple it is to create a clipping mask within Photoshop. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content like this. I would love to create more stuff and continue building stuff for you guys to learn. All right, guys, don't forget, keep learning. And please don't forget to leave me any comments and let me know how I can improve my videos. Thank you again, guys, and have a wonderful day. Take care.